Hey guys, it's Amy at 804 Sycamore, and in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put together your own tiered tray. Now you can do up to three plates in these tiered trays when you get the uh, connectors from Amazon. Maybe they make them um, larger, I'm not sure, but three is a pretty good amount. I'm going to put together a two plate tiered tray um, and I'm going to show you how great it can be to put some appetizers on. Uh, but you could also put cookies on the tiered trays and then gift them. So it's a really easy project. I think you're going to love it. And then you can just disassemble it and store it, um, which is super easy and a space saver. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more DIY and decorating ideas and inspiration. Let's get going. Okay, guys, to start out, I just took this dry erase pen. Um, and I found the middle of the plate going one direction and then just uh, find the perpendicular point and find the center going the other way and that's going to be where you're going to drill and the great thing about the dry erase pen is after you're done drilling you can just easily wipe it off so uh, you're going to have to find the center of each and every plate and um, what I ended up finding is it worked better to put some um, painter's tape on the back to help with um, tear out and even having the wood directly pressed up. So you're going to add this special drill bit for drilling into ceramic. I think it's probably typical for um, drilling into tile and things like that. I think it can drill into glass as well. It's a quarter inch thick drill bit. And I had to apply quite a bit of pressure. And um, you're just, you wanna make sure you're drilling straight down, um, as close to 90 degrees as you can. Obviously, you can see I'm a little bit off. Um, and then when I did get all the way through, it was very difficult to pull the drill back out. So I just went ahead and loosened up my drill gun and pulled the bit out that way. It just, um, it saved me a lot of heartache and issues. So after you do it to your dinner plate, go ahead and do it to your salad plate, your saucer. Um, you could do it to a bowl and the bowl could have um, dip, fruit dip, veggie dip, chip dip, salsa, whatever you want. Um, so many different things you can do um, with this project. So I got these plates at Home Goods. They weren't matching. I just coordinated them. I wanted them to be kind of wintry, not too Christmassy, but kind of wintry. Um, but here is a close up. So you want to make sure you do this in a ventilated area. Make sure you use eye protection and a mask. You don't want to be breathing in this dust. It's, it's ceramic and glass dust. So make sure you use the proper protection when doing this project. But I think by now we all have enough masks around, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, anyways, it does get quite hot, so be careful with that bit. It warms up quite a bit. And then when you're done, clean your plates very thoroughly. And then applying the connector couldn't be any easier. You just start at the bottom. And I found my plates were a little bit wobbly. And so I ended up putting some metal washers on the underside and that just added a little more stability. So I really liked that. Um, I, I would advise not um, over screwing this. You don't want to crack um, any of this, the plate. So just a nice, um, a nice tension on there. Don't over tighten. And you're going to want to um, disassemble this to wash and store it, which is really great and easy. So it's that simple guys. Now these connectors, they can go like, um, you can have up to three different levels, but I knew two would be enough for my Caprice bites at my party. Just, I wanted to create an appetizer tray, just keep it simple, two layers. Um, and the washers really helpful, helped for stability. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more DIY and decorating ideas and inspiration. Thanks so much.